Dilly in the body snatcher right here. It's a champ. Big up the sports and icon. Subscribe. Otherwise, I might pay you guys a visit. Right, so as per previous video there, this is the second one, which is very, very important to the sport of boxing, which is why I said to you guys that you should be subscribing if you're not already. And if you are subscribed, big up to you. And if you are a boxing fan, of course, you should be subscribed automatically. Now, the PBC are looking to make a PBC title. And we'll get straight into a statement from Bill Wagner, who is a Fox Sports executive. And this is what uh, Bill had to say. What we're trying to do with the PBC, we're going to have a PBC belt and a PBC champion. Let's say the heavyweight division, Ruiz beats Joshua again, and eventually you have Ruiz and Wilder fighting for the PBC heavyweight title. So that's the statement. So this is no surprise for a lot of us who watch boxing, okay? Um, we've been seeing the writing on the wall for a long, long time. Now, ultimately, the PBC, they already have a PBC title. It just happens to be called the WBC, okay? Again, let's be real about it, because the WBC, these guys bend over backwards and bend the rules and do whatever they want for the PBC, Al Heyman, Premier Boxing Champions. Very, very biased towards them. We've, we've seen it. Um, Rizzo Suleiman and anybody within the WBC and the PBC can deny it all they like, but facts show the truth of it, do they not? So, creating a PBC belt. Now, are they going to rename the WBC? Maybe. Um, if not, then they are going to create a PBC belt. That means that they're going to cut off all the organisations, such as the WBC included the WBA, the IBF, the WBO, the IBO, and any other kind of O's. Okay, that's going to be going with a PBC in-house belt. Because, again, it's not surprising because the PBC, they predominantly only really do in-house fights. So a PBC fighter versus PBC fighter. Again, that's nothing really unusual. Most platforms, most um, promotional companies, that's what they prefer to do anyway, because the fights are easier to make and all the money stays in-house, okay? And there's less risk of outside fighters taking a title or whatever it be. So again, I can't criticise it too much, but predominantly the PBC, they don't let any of their, especially the top name fighters, go to another platform. Even though no fighters are apparently tied to the PBC. So apparently they're all free agents and they can go fight on any other network that they choose. Because Al Heyman is an advisor. Yeah, of course he is. But officially, that's what he is. So for me and many of you guys, we all know that that's not actually true when it comes to the fact that these guys are free agents. Many, many fighters are afraid to leave. So there's got to be a reason behind it. Now, PBC belt. I don't have too much of an issue with it. If this means getting rid of the sanctioning bodies, cool. Crack on. But here's the thing, though. Most boxing fans won't accept this. Because boxing fans want undisputed. You can't have a PBC belt and consider that a legitimate title. Eventually you might, but right now it isn't. Okay, You need four titles, WBC, WBA, IBF, WBO, to become undisputed. You need those four titles. That's what is recognised around the world. Now, ultimately, the sanctioning bodies, they all have their biases. They all seem to be, what, borderline crooks. They all have their favouritisms and all that kind of thing and their stupid rules and some enforce them to the extreme and some just don't enforce them whatsoever. They all have different percentages for um, a champion cut, plus many, many other different things. With WBC, very, very pro PBC. WBO, very, very pro top rank Barbarum and Frank Warren of Queensbury Promotions. So if it means getting rid of those, I understand why. Because they don't want to be beholden to any of the terms and conditions of their champions. So much like the UFC, they have the UFC championship, do they not? So, and, and it works for them. But I think the reason that it works for those is because they never had a blueprint beforehand. They were creating the, bru uh, the blueprint from pretty much the beginning. They were making it as they went along. With boxing, it's already established. You've been around for what, 110, 115 years or something like that. That's a boxing has been mainstream now. So to come in and just change it like that, I don't think the fans are going to be accepting of it. Um, if you're a PBC fighter, you probably will. But ultimately, it's just the way that it has to be. So the sanctioning bodies learn to stop being absolute morons. All the favoritism that the WBC have been shown with the PBC, and the PBC are now going to bin off the WBC. Marissa Suleiman, I would laugh my backside off if that happened. If the PBC binned off the WBC after all 
the bias and the bending of the rules and all this kind of thing that WBC have done for Al Heyman and all that, I would laugh my ass off, honestly. Because Mr. Sullivan and WBC, you would deserve it, to be honest with you. But from the one platform, from the one promotional company that you're pretty much in bed with and trying to tickle their butt. And they just bin you off when you've openly shown bias. So why should other promotional companies be using your title? So for me, for example, if the PBC did do that, why not have a top rank belt? Why not have a matchroom belt or a Queensby promotion belt or a golden boy belt and all that kind of thing? Why not just do that then? Just get rid of all sanctioning bodies. Don't need them no more. If everybody did it, I think, cool, that, that'd be fine. But of course, it will make it even harder to put on fights for cross promotions. It, it will make it so much harder. Not that it's any easier right now, but ultimately, I don't have too much of a problem with the PBC doing it because this is the track that it seems that these guys have been tooting their train along for quite some time now, where everything does seem to be pretty much in-house. You could say, yeah, but Andy Ruiz Jr., he's a PBC fighter and he went over to the zone. Yeah, again, because the PBC and Al Heyman had no long-term plans with Andy Ruiz Jr. He was an opponent, um, as far as they were concerned. He was going to be an opponent for Adam Kalnaki, for Charles Martin, for a Luis Ortiz. He wasn't supposed to do what it is that he'd done. This is why Luis Ortiz wasn't allowed to fight uh, Joshua. It's why Wilder hasn't been allowed to fight Joshua. Why Wilder isn't allowed to go fight Dillian White. Not that Wilder wants to anyway, but you kind of get the point. That Ruiz wasn't on the plans. And of course, he was a new acquisition after he left top rank. So, as I said, for me, I don't have too much of an issue of it. and But I would find it funny if they binned off the WBC after all their complete buggery. And the PBC just binned them off. Good. To be honest with you, good. And I hope no other promotional company will accept the WBC being part of them. That's what I would hope. Because they've shown complete favouritism to the PBC and not anybody else. So for me, other organisations, other uh, boxing promotional companies like Matchroom, Golden Boy, etc. Just go, WBC, jog on, we don't want you either. Because ultimately, if all the sanctioning bodies all did their thing how they're supposed to do it, and were all singing off the same hymn sheet, or if there was a overall governing body where all sanctioning bodies had to report to this one entity where they could be punishable for certain things, then I think things will go far smoother. But because that isn't going to happen, then the PBC just creating their own belt is what it is. I don't have a problem with it whatsoever, to be honest with you. And I understand, because the WBO, they don't rank... PBC fighters very much at all. So why recognise the WBO? So again, I, I, I understand that. And it this kind of thing continues across different platforms. There's too much favouritism in there. So the PBC having a PBC title up and down its divisions, fair play. Why not? But people are not going to recognise it as the belt. You're just not. That isn't going to happen. Over time, maybe give it 20 years of it being in the boxing world, then maybe people will start to go, oh, okay, yeah, maybe. But ultimately for that to happen, the PBC will have to do that. Matchroom, Golden Boy, etc., etc., will all have to do that too. And then people will go, okay, so we as fans, the majority of us go to this side and say, okay, we believe that the PBC belt is the number one belt over a Matchroom belt or, or, or whatever it may be. But listen, we're going to have to wait and find out what's happening with that. And again, this might be a sign as to that uh, Dana White, Dana White, is going to come to into boxing. And he's already said that he ain't working with the sanctioning bodies. And the PBC has been a hub that potentially he's been looking at into buying. So maybe this is why they're doing it. Because Dana White said, listen, that's what I'm going to be doing. So anyway, we'll have to wait and see what happens. You guys drop your thoughts below about it. Do you think that the PBC creating their own belt is a good thing and it's good to bin off the other sanctioning bodies or is this a way to block even more fights going forward that this can actually complicate a whole lot more things which again it could do there's so many different scenarios but ultimately for me i don't have too much of a problem as i said before so anyway you guys drop your thoughts below about it enjoy your weekend make sure that you are subscribed to this channel if you're not already and i'll catch you all on the very next video